Hello, yes. Uh, originally I was going to show you how to put it onto full desktop mode, but then I thought it would be too complicated to show uh, on such a poor camera. Uh, so, what I was just doing is, like I said, go to web um, and go into the um, URL void and wherever it is, and put www.eeeuser.com and then if you press in the search uh, search uh, window and uh, search for desktop mode and then the very first one will say advanced desktop mode uh, if you go onto that one and follow the follow the instructions uh, precisely and you should be able to get it um, it's quite simple to use quite simple to do it's not it's not hard unless you can't read which I'm sure people do and uh, when you first switch uh, when you uh, go to your little which is a red circle which is actually the shut shut down shut down button and it brings up a sub menu saying shut down restart standby task manager uh, obviously on yours it'll just show these four until you unlock the actual full desktop which will then obviously show with full desktop and uh, once you click retire well the you know, downside is this is the only way of doing it it's the only way of actually putting it onto the desktop mode but the good thing is um, that when you actually put it onto desktop mode and you switch it off and then you switch it on and you switch it off again and you switch it on again every day uh, whenever you go on it it'll always stay on the uh, the mode that you've selected so um, I prefer, actually prefer the full desktop mode as like I said it feels more of a PC with it and it will show these little windows loading up so you've been a full full desktop mode it uh, allows you to go into certain uh, certain options you wouldn't have been able to do on your easy mode which we can actually select the background you can actually select uh, like uh, on Windows, you can actually select the window, the way the windows come up, and uh, how they look. Colors. Um, obviously, you'd have to do left click or right click, sorry, and go to properties, which brings up your, uh, which brings your thing, which brings your uh, display properties up, which is um, pretty much the same. It's the same, uh, same method as uh, Windows. Very, very similar. So if you know, if you know Windows very well. It's, uh, it's a good thing to use. Uh, obviously, I love it. I love it more this way because it's a bit more complicated, a bit more challenging. To try and find things, and I actually like that. I don't like it too easy; it just gets boring. And um, obviously, this background can be changed to whatever you want: photos, uh, videos. No, not sorry, photos. <laughs> obviously, uh, it can have screen savers on. Uh, I don't know if that can actually be video screen savers. Not too sure. Um, it's just very very simple, uh, very very simple machine. Everything's set out differently. It just looks awesome the way it is. I'm actually really 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 pleased with it. Uh, but yeah, like I said, if you go on that to eeeuser.com and then look up desktop mode in the search window, and then find the very top one, which will say advanced desktop by Wiki which is probably Wikipedia, uh, just follow them prompts and you can actually do it. Uh, uh, that's the only way, as far as I know, unless you can actually go onto asus.com uh, and then look up the details on there. I think there, I think there was a little uh, menu prompt that said uh, Linux hacks which uh, probably means you can actually probably do it easier through ASUS but uh, what I'd recommend is what I've said the eeuser.com okay well anyway thank you YouTube hope this is a, hope this is a useful video for you um, um, obviously if I ever want to upgrade the memory I'll probably do a video put it on show you how to do the memory uh, although without, probably without that time you've actually done it yourself uh, Again, if you want to increase the memory, uh, sorry, increase the uh, solid state drive, which is on this model 4 gig, uh, I'd suggest putting an SD card in.
Uh, although it will ask you to try and look up look up what what's on it every time you start it up. You can always cancel it and just let it let it idle there as a memory. Uh, this one is a gig SD. It's a uh, card that I put in. She's it brought it up to five gig. Obviously, I think I think uh, three and a half gig of this. Uh, well, maybe two and a half gig. This actual solid state drive is mostly the actual. Uh, Operating system, which isn't good. But kidding. Uh, anyway, okay, thank you very much.